Hey guys, so I got a couple responses back on the last video saying, hey, I don't have SolidWorks. How do I import these track splines into, let's say, Fusion 360? So this is gonna be a really quick add-on video to the first one, just showing you how you can take those track splines or curves from No Limits, and instead of going into SolidWorks, we're gonna go into Fusion 360. So uh, I don't use Fusion 360 too often, but I figured I can at least show you how you can get started. So if we go back to where we had our uh, track files, uh, let's see here. So if we, we already know from the last video how to get this data. And what I did is I just picked a track, this is the center line, and it's only about, I think, nine inches long. So I just kind of chopped it off. So I got the center, the left, and the right. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to importing track data video that I just posted a few days ago. Check that out just to see how you get here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and you can come back and watch the rest of this. So let's say you already have this data and we want to bring it into Fusion 360. It's actually really easy. So we are now in Fusion 360 and you go to add-ins, you go to import spline CSV, which is the comma separated variable. And you're gonna hit a run. And then the only thing now is, you know, that text file we had, it is now just in an Excel sheet saved as a CSV. So I'm gonna go here to the center file, hit open, and there you go. You got your center line. It was that easy. It's not even some crazy hard thing to do. So there's your center line. You go back, hit add in, import, spline. Now we're gonna do the left one. There's left, and we're gonna do it again. Uh, import the right, and there you go. Now you have your particular track section from No Limits in Fusion 360. So that's pretty cool. Um, now you might be asking, okay, so like, can we start designing some stuff? So here, I'll just uh, I'll start a little intro here. So now that we have the track section in, uh, we can start you know, creating some geometry. So really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and make a plane along the path, which would be the center path, and you can kind of choose you know, where the plane starts. I'm just gonna go back to the beginning of the track piece, create my sketch plane, sketch on this guy. And I'm just gonna ballpark it because you can really dial this in, but I'm just gonna you know, say, like, okay, here's, here's gonna be just you know, an outline where we're going. And I think actually I wanna put another line out here. Make sure it's at 90 degrees. I'm just, I'm just throwing some stuff out right now. And there, there's like your center spline. Uh, the only other thing is we gotta make these a uh, construction. So those are construction and stop to sketch. Uh, now what you can do is you have, you know, your curves and you go to create and I wanna do a sweep. Uh, I wanna do not just a single path because here I'll, I'll show you really quick. So if I hit the profile, make the circle, select my path, it, it doesn't follow it correctly. See how everything just got shifted? So. Instead of doing path, we're gonna go up here to single path and guide rail. So we have our profile, we have our path, and I wanna do guide rail. And you can just select one of the side curves, one of the rails, and there you go. Now it follows the path perfectly. And you can hit okay. The only thing that's kind of weird is it, it uses up the other sketches, so you can either unhide those, or I'm just lazy and I'll just go and re-import them again. So I'll get my center one back in here. And then I'll just add my, uh, what is it, the right one, I think. Yeah, the right one. Um, so there's that. And then you can go, and there are cool little features. You can go hit pipe. You can select this guy. Um, I'll just say it's like two millimeters, I don't know. You can you can decide what you really want it to be. Make another pipe. And uh, we're slowly getting a track piece in here that fits that form. And then the cross ties, as I said, I'm not um, a Fusion 360 expert, but I know a lot of you guys know more than me. You can go in, select planes, create your cross cross ties. Um, you can uh, also go in and make all sorts of other track designs. So that's it. I just wanted to show you, you can get that data into Fusion 360. You're not just totally screwed. Um, from here, you can kind of open it up to however you want to design the rest of the parts. So uh, with that, see you later.